Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Coloring Comics channel. I'm your host and creator of Coloring Comics, Heraclio Kiki Aguilar. Thank you for joining me in another edition of Coloring Your Emotions, where we will take a look at regular human feelings and dive deeper into their meanings. To choose these emotions, we'll be addressing what I like to call the color wheel. If you've noticed, I have updated the wheel. I think it looks cleaner and I can make it do stuff like this. And also like that. And more. Today on the color wheel, we'll be looking at the emotion curiosity, an eagerness to learn or know something kind of like me and all these computer programs. In the spirit of curiosity, I will do this with no color palette and using watercolors for the first time since I was five. All right, let's move on to picking our scene. Now you could use whatever you want, but I am using one of the pages from my own illustration collection. You can get yours at coloring-comics.com or click on the link below. But a whole page is too much for me to do right now, so I'm gonna just take a few of these panels, and here we go. All right, as you guys watch my hands get to work watercoloring, I like to share a little bit of my experience in this emotion, and then close out with the top six facts and benefits of the emotion. Well, curiosity is uh, well. Curiosity is a crazy emotion that's gotten me into a lot of trouble over the years. Um, certainly a lot when I was a child, but the one I kind of want to share with you was the first time I went halfway across the country, no, the world. Uh, I was only 19. In fact, it was my 19th birthday and I had just enlisted in the military I had already passed my boot camp. I already have gone through training and I was about to go to my first duty station on my 19th birthday. And that duty station was in South Korea. So flying over there, I had to wear my BDU uniform, which made people interact with me much livelier. But then to throw on the toppings of it was my birthday, I got advanced from coach to first class. The entire trip was awesome. But when I arrived to Seoul, South Korea, it was very, very late at night and the base was already closed. So to, as a compromise, the military had reserved rooms for us at the Incheon Hotel. I had to bunk with the staff sergeant that had been in the country about three to four times. The only orders that we were really given was not to leave the hotel. But of course, so I'm 19, it's my birthday, it's very late and who's gonna catch me? So I decided to break the rules. Of course, I waited until very, very late at night, but looking out of my bedroom window, you could see so much activity just outside the door. I wanted to see what else was out there. So after getting dressed in actual civilian attire, I started to sneak out of my room, but my staff sergeant kind of wanted to ask where I was going. Kind of told him I was gonna look around the hotel, but that's a lie. With caution, I finally got the courage to leave the hotel with no stops and right into the middle of all this action. Vendors were selling stuff on the corners. People were running into each other because there's so much foot traffic. And if you look into all the shops, their windows are filled with such vibrant toys and clothes and stuff I've never seen before. So I decided to walk down the hill which was amazing. The lights kept me entertained. But as I got closer to base, the tour got a little bit boring and I was getting in a little bit of trouble there. 
So I turned back, but I wanted to see more of this town. I mean, <laughs> who knows when the next time I'll be inside of Seoul. So I took a few steps, actually a few blocks off of the beaten path, and I found a few alleys, which I would later come to know as Hooker Hill. I decided not to go out and drink that night, mainly because I didn't have any money. So, so I had to venture back to the hotel. Thankfully, I didn't take too many turns, so I did not get lost. When I returned to my room, we only had a few more hours before the military came and picked us up so we can get our official orders. I don't think that my staff sergeant really cared about where I was which made it all better because no one ever knew about my experience inside of Seoul until now. I stayed inside that country for an entire year and curiosity would get me into a lot more funner, interesting and unique experiences that I may share with you guys later on down the road. All right, enough about me. Let's turn on to figure out the top six facts and benefits of being curious. Number six, curiosity improves healthcare. Research suggests that when doctors are genuinely curious about their patient's perspective, their patients are less angry and frustrated with their doctor's diagnoses. Number five, curiosity helps strengthen relationships. I'm sure that could mean in an array of different ways, but I am showing here that studies say that when a person is curious about the other, they will ask questions. Those questions will build a bond between the two. The more curiosity or questions that they share with each other, the stronger those bonds become. Number four. Curiosity can expand our empathy. I know it's hard or difficult or unreasonable to expect that everybody has felt or been through the same experiences, but we have been through stuff that are very similar. And using that, we can empathize with other people. It is curiosity that helps you explore those differences in order to form a connection of your own. Number three, curiosity boosts achievements. It is a well-known fact that over our history that a lot of our creations or findings were based on our scientists or leaders being curiosity of what certain things or elements do together. It is with that same curiosity sense that leads us to more developments, including technology, uh, communication, and even your performance at work. Number two, curious people are happier. Research has shown curiosity to be associated with higher levels of positive emotions, lower levels of anxiety, and more satisfied with life, and greater psychological well-being. Finally, number one, curiosity helps us survive. And it also killed the cat. No, really it, curiosity helps us survive because the environment around us constantly evolves and we have to evolve with it. Of course, curiosity can lead to some damages, but it can also lead to some benefits leading up to a healthier and well lived life. Well, that's really all I got for you guys today. But if you liked what you guys seen, please press the like button and then subscribe to our channel for future videos. I hope you guys enjoyed our time here. Please have a great day and I hope to see you guys later. Bye.